Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you would like to become a member of my channel, click the join button. It's only $2.99 per month. And personal reading link is in the description box below this video. Also, I would like to welcome our newest members. Yay! Nels B, Joy Turner, Stephanie Lopez, Miguel Cortez. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for becoming part of the Virgo gang. All right, Virgo. So uh, today I felt called to do a um, Celtic cross spread, which is a little different from what we normally do, but something said, yep, yeah, let's get into the Celtic cross. So let's start with the place that you're coming from, the past energy. Okay, you've got the hermit. So there's definitely an energy of rethinking something or thinking something, being on your own in the past. And when I say the past, it could be the recent past. It could be a long time ago, whatever the past is for you, that this is your card, Virgo. So reflecting on, so this could have been yesterday. So spending some time alone, reflecting, thinking, trying to, doing a little soul searching, perhaps, trying to figure something out or understand something better. Um, and it's not an isolating card, but it's like, shutting the shutting the curtains turning off the notifications spending some time by yourself and really just trying to source out some information gain some knowledge some wisdom okay so i definitely feel like you know at some point prior to listening to this reading you've got you've had something on your mind let's get a clarifying card to see what that may have been what you may be trying to think think about oh think over it have something to do with a water sign, Queen of Cups, masculine or feminine energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, thinking, uh, trying to sort maybe about how you feel about someone or how someone might feel about you. It's really taking a look at the emotions here. And like I always say in my readings, I always feel like that chalice is like some kind of robot. Someone not showing their feelings and maybe trying to intuit how they truly feel about you okay so yeah or you know what the energy is with someone or even just like what your feelings are in regards to another person place or a thing or a situation now let's take a look at your current energy where are you right now virgo where is virgo right now has virgo come up with anything what is virgo's energy okay well, yeah, of course, Virgo's like, oh, F this, I'm going to work. <laughs> um, you, it looks to me like you are in this position of building, creating, being consistent with something in your life. You may very well, as of today, or just in the present energy when you're listening to this reading, really focusing on your finances your money your work what you're doing in your life the day-to-day -day, okay the day-to-day -day. so uh, you may have come from this place of not trying to like trying to understand something but not maybe you didn't come up with an answer maybe you just put it off and you're just focusing here now on building putting some effort into your own and not paying attention you know sometimes I, I feel like Virgo's best thinking comes when they're focused on something else the answers generally come when Virgo is you know when like you're trying to you, you know when you when a dog has a bone you're trying to get the bone the dog runs away but as soon as you stop and turn around and you're just focusing on something else the dog just comes and drops a bone in your lap so that's kind of the thing I feel like is happening with you right now you just you know what let me just focus on my day to day and the things I need to do. And the answer will come when it's meant to. Let's see what's the challenge. Okay. The Empress. Challenge or benefit. So this really is like focusing on yourself. And I feel like you have that Empress energy, masculine or feminine, you know, focusing on your beauty, building yourself, having that new beginnings. Not easy. Um, but when is that ever easy? It's not meant to, if, ever, if it was easy, everybody would do it, right? So, you know, you're really focusing on that, the self here is what I feel. And that's good. Working on self, being consistent, you know, you, you could be working out and doing that every day. You could be being more consistent in your job, or if you're a creator, trying to push some stuff out to get, to make money. Um, 
it's more or less focusing on bettering yourself rather than dwelling too much on the unknowns okay um perhaps you're tired of that maybe you could just get tired of dwelling on the unknown you just you know what i'm gonna put that aside put it on the back burner and just focus on me so i kind of like that energy for you virgo i feel like you are uh, getting yourself in a good place or have arrived in a really great place for yourself right now. Now let's, let's take a look what's driving you. What is driving Virgo at this time? Hmm. Perhaps dating. Maybe you're getting yourself out there. You want to be more social, um, spend more time with friends, be more active, happy times, joy, celebrating. Um, it feels like that's where you're at right now as long as focus is on yourself but also like what's pushing you to do this is you know you can't sort something out the answer is not coming you've 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 gone through the files you've searched you've searched you've looked you've looked you've searched yourself you're not sure and now it looks like you're just focusing on you and maybe your social contacts your social life your friends perhaps other options love options in your life just really like you know yeah, even being in this chat here is a form of you socializing with other people, making connections. Some of you might be um, preparing yourself to have a reunion with someone or a, a bunch of people coming up. Um, or preparing yourself for, you know, dating, getting yourself in a good place. Okay, let's see. What is crowning upon you? Coming down like in your head space. What's... What's really in your headspace? What's in Virgo's headspace? Virgo's thoughts. What's Virgo thinking? Oh, there you go. Just what I thought. R and R, getting some peace of mind. Yeah, just kind of like letting it go. Let it go. Let it flow. Whatever will be, will be. You might be um, thinking about meditating. You might be praying about someone at night. Um, or praying for someone, but it feels kind of like you are just in this place of like, you know, I just need some rest. I need peace of mind in my head. That's what it is. Okay. Retreat. Recover from something. Virgos like tend to think, overthink things. So maybe you just spent too much time overthinking about someone or um, just trying to going down a rabbit hole even about your own feelings and emotions in regard to someone and now you're just I like the energy feels light it feels light you know it's a little like well you know whatever it's going to be will be and I'm just going to focus on me and make it the myself my best self at this time because I feel like you're putting yourself forward and or putting yourself first and it feels like it's it's work you're working on yourself and getting rest i <laughs> just i don't know virgo it just feels to me like it's it's a very light energy currently you know and if you haven't gotten to that place yet it could be something that you're like thinking about how do i how do i get myself into this where i'm not worrying or i'm not overthinking and, and it looks mostly like getting a good night's sleep focusing on that um focusing on you know being happy really you know and i say all the time the secret to happiness the key to happiness is keeping your expectations low of other people but high on yourself high on your achievements you know expect like i feel like perhaps you expect yourself to be better than this whatever this is all right and um if you've had high expectations of other people and felt a lot of disappointment maybe you have them placed in the wrong position so it's more about focusing on yourself right and expectation i feel like i'm rambling on here now this card just flew out and i wasn't asking anything so the six of swords is really about transitioning okay so maybe you're that person who's transitioning um or you could be someone who's just you know getting out of your comfort zone a little bit doing a little bit of exploring, um, facing your fears, overcoming. You know, the card before this would be the Five of Swords. So you might be overcoming um, a difficult connection with someone where there may have been 
Uh, someone who was like a heartbreaker, someone who was just causing problems, getting out of that, getting yourself in a in a much better. Th- so this is going from look at look at the water how it's so very chaotic. Somebody might have been stirring up trouble and taking you on a ride, and and like then you took over at the helm, and and you're getting yourself into more calmer waters, more peaceful place. So I kind of like that, Virgo. I do. Let's see what's coming up for you. What is coming toward? Oh, wow. Amazing, amazing the sun. Beautiful. So this is a very joyous, happy, freeing energy. Virgo. Um, now, there could be a connection here with another earth sign. There could be a connection with the Libra or a Leo. I just want to state that. But you're going into the light here. Happy days ahead. Joyous days ahead. Feeling free, feeling uh, warm. I, I just it's just reaching this joyous place, you know, from all from a heavy duty kind of past energy. Let's see what your advice is here. Oh, cards are falling. Oh, wow. Okay, I just want to tell you, you got the King of Wands. Okay, and for some of you, this is really getting yourself in a more confident, bold position, um, taking your time to figure out what you want to take action on you know it's not, a, it's not a horse card this this king of wands is just sitting there but look he's got his like hand on his lap like he's ready to go okay so this is this is being proactive not reactive and that's your advice here there could also be a king of wands in your life um aries leo sagittarius that is prominent for some reason uh, let's get um clarifying card to see and your advice might be to pay attention to this person um, the devil Capricorn energy um, there could be a very strong bond between you and this person now if it's negative you might need to pay attention or keep your eyes open about this person um, very strong se actual attachment as well um, could be evil intent so keep your eyes peeled on this person for others if the king of wands is it your energy like i said masculine or feminine it's kind of like turning your back to the devil and and i feel like your advice here is like pay attention you're maybe you're more aware of devil energy you know like you got it under your belt you know what to look out for when evil knocks at your door in in any form person place or thing okay your advice is maybe not to react to someone's evil intentions when i say evil i just mean bad intentions pay attention to that i just they said give virgo one more card for the devil okay sure sure Ooh. all right for some of you there is <laughs> got the lovers gemini energy there is a, a king of wands showing up it's like either they're already in your life or they're showing up and this person is i mean there is a very strong wow crazy love obsession energy with this person <laughs> now the king of wands like fire energy could be sun moon rising or venus so keep that in mind okay um, you might be paying attention to this person, trying to sort out whether this person has good intentions or not for you. Okay. But it's also a message for you to take on that energy of the King of Wands and, and look to see um, if someone has good intentions or not. Okay, know the difference I'm hearing. Okay, external to you, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So this represents change. Um, let's see. Good luck coming to you. You've also got the moon. So there's something that you can't see yet, Virgo, in this, the rest of uh, this February, this date until the middle of March. There's something that will be revealed to you that will be very prosperous for you. Okay. Could be it, like, you're going to get lucky in something. Uh, there is a Pisces energy here as well. Um, and I feel like you might already be aware a little bit, like, hmm, kind of had a feeling this might be coming my way. You know how you get like that vibe, like, I know something good's coming. I know something good's coming. And I kind of feel it. 
I kind of feel it. There's the moon. And if you're getting those vibes and you're 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 feeling that energy somewhere, like it, it's almost it's not a scary feeling. Like when someone is kind of like in the vicinity and you know they're there but you can't see them. This is more. This is a luck. This is a good thing. So whatever that thing is, right? I don't know specifically for you, Virgo. But whatever that thing is that you're feeling like you know something good's coming, it's coming. That's clarification, okay? You also have the Knight of Cups, so uh, <laughs> it feels like someone's coming in with a love offer to you. I'm not, it could be a Pisces because we have double Pisces here. Um, and for others, it's just someone like... If you're that person, like if you're that Virgo that's like, I know I'm going to meet somebody. I know that my true love is coming into my life. I don't know when. I know they're out there. Maybe they're stuck up in a tree somewhere. I don't know, but I know they're coming. It, it's You're right on point with that, Virgo. You're right on point with it. It's definitely happening, and you're going to feel very, like, wow, amazing. Okay, let's take a look and see what your hopes and fears are. Okay, so... Yeah, Virgo. I kind of feel like you, you know, on the money front, it, it's like, you know, uh, how, like, I feel like you're trying, you might be trying to save money at this time and not spend because you have a fear that, you know, you're not going to have enough money in the future. You could be in that position. Um, but as far as love goes, you might have a fear that, you know, you're not going to be able to open up your heart. Or you're not, you know, you're going to be too defensive, but you may be hoping that you'll be able to protect yourself, protect your heart against unwanted advancements from someone in particular or anyone in general. Yeah. So, I mean, I feel like it's good that you protect your heart. I do. Um, I don't feel like you should like lock it up in a cement chain, <laughs> a cement chain. Is that even a thing? I guess that you, you know, like you don't want to keep it so locked up that no light or love can get in. Um, but it is good that you protect your heart because as you know, as you know, Virgo, there's a lot of people out there that have bad intentions and you want to just be very, you know, careful about who you open up your heart to for sure, or at least be selective about who now let's see what your outcome is virgo what is virgo's outcome for this reading here oh okay so you've got the three of swords hmm wow but you also have the, the ace of cups so there is a situation here where you're going to be healing from a broken heart there's definitely a new love energy coming in like i said i felt that here i know you felt it um this is healing the broken heart for sure, either with someone new showing up or just new blessings, getting over some kind of broken hearted situation or an argument. There's there's um, a refreshing from an argument or some, some, wherever you're hurting, wherever you're hurting, there may be an apology. Um, it's like a closing of the wound, okay, is the outcome and like a fresh, it's like a blessing. You know, if, if you were that person who was trying to have a child or you want to have a new beginning in love or something like it's coming, Virgo, I feel like it's it's definitely going to happen and it's going to come in quick. Yeah, definitely. A lot of communication coming to you from somebody in particular. Not a, it could be a, a king of wands. It could be a queen of cups. You'll see, Virgo. You'll you'll see. Let the energy play out. Let things flow let everything just kind of happen the way it's it's meant to happen and i feel like you're doing that here it's like you know whatever will be will be and i'm okay with that i'm okay with that you know um let's get a couple of island time cards to see what else is showing up here for you okay yeah so you had a there you go okay so they want to talk about this still and there, if there was some kind of separation with someone or something ended, Virgo, like I said, I feel like it's it's going to heal, okay? Or at least you're going to heal from that, you know? doesn't mean somebody's going to come back in and try to fix it. It could for some of you or apologize, but you definitely heal from, you know, the wound closes what I'm hearing, okay? And you also have hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, repetitive persistent working on it so you like i said and if you look here at the beginning look there you are with the hammer you're definitely rebuilding yourself or you're just you know working on something here it's got a hammer right there so 
hammer and a nail yep Virgo I feel like you um, I feel like you're you're getting yourself in a really good place here which is good I know we talk about that all the time but it looks like doing that uh, honestly brings passion you, you you find yourself in the same chemistry with someone coming up liking each other equally having a good time with someone what is this you've got the heart you've got a heart i don't know what the heck this heart is it's like some kind of look at it looks almost looks like fire but without the color <laughs> fiery passion for sure um there's definitely somebody coming in making a love offer to you or proposing or just being very sweet and loving and warm towards you that you you know is coming and there's passion that heats up and there's heart with a key yeah you, you're definitely going to be meeting somebody meeting the one getting together i love this i love this reading for you virgo i do let's get some messages of love and see what else is showing up here for you okay fate this is a destined partnership wow and someone has regret feel remorse for the way they're treating you or the way they treated you okay what else here virgo okay oh your finances financial challenges are affecting a connection this connection could be with yourself we're definitely working on your finances this month oh there's someone in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson so i like to say virgo when you meet someone you know you do often the feelings go before the head the you know the thoughts and i feel like some of you might be in this position right now where you're like why is this person in my life right asking like why why um and sometimes people come into our lives for specific reasons and you can meet someone that you're very attracted to and then think that this is going to be the person for you like your love for life but sometimes that's not the plan and so it's really important to observe and take your time and go slow with someone that you connect with don't put your feelings before your thoughts too quickly so you can figure out like sometimes people just come into our lives to teach us a spiritual lesson you know and and virgo it could even be you who's the one in someone's life to teach them a spiritual lesson or both of you teaching that to each other so strong message there in regards to that what else do you have all right some of you got a past life love thing here your soul remembers an intense connection with someone um for some of you a past life love was meant to teach you something you know meant to cause you to get more connected to spirit or to god and for others um this person from your past um you were meant to teach them something or you currently are meant to teach them okay but is there a past life love showing up here yes could it be the one who's uh giving the uh knight of cups offer the love offer it could be could it be somebody new it could be i can't really pick up just yet but you'll have to wait and see one more for virgo please one more card for virgo okay retreat time alone or in nature will help you recharge so you know i see that you were doing that in the past but it was more like your brain was like a hamster wheel going and going and going trying to figure something out the retreat card is that four of swords this is like calming the brain and this is like meditating but on something specific that you know could be phrases or positive affirmations you know or keeping your brain um you know because the brain's always moving and and always thinking and it can go in like a thousand different directions especially for women so it's like picking something you know like you could close your eyes and just visualize one particular thing like a tree and just meditating on the tree do you know what i mean without having all the excess noise you know and that's really important as part of your spiritual growth as well meditation practice really helps to alleviate anxiety and stress and worry and fear it calms you you could be listening to some type of um you know audio uh, or uh yeah, some kind of audio or like relaxation maybe doing some yoga or something like that or, or even you're just out in nature and maybe part of your spiritual um healing is 
going out into the woods every day and just walking or along the beach you know um, very important part of your part of your I like to call it your your mental health exercises and you have support so lean on your inner circle during this time yeah um, yeah that's where you gain your strength through your inner circle and whomever they are family your soul tribe um, certain people who re-energize you really important for you to do that i feel like that's a benefit to you and if you don't have those people find them i don't you know what if, if you and if you don't want to find, just get all your stuffed animals if you have any and put them like right there on the chair just be like yo you people you're my soul tribe right there you people <laughs> maybe your animals or an animal all right let's see i want to get a couple of cosmic insight messages for you here virgo Manifest. Oh, we got two. An intimacy. Manifest intimacy. Okay. Tell the universe exactly what you want, Virgo. Look at the praying hands. You could be doing that, you know, at night as well. And intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. Okay. Some of you just trying to manifest that intimacy. Let me tell you what. It's it, like mm, the good stuff. Some of you are thinking about someone that you had that chemistry with and telling the universe that you want that again either with that person or someone else divorce some of you like I said you could be not all of you experiencing some kind of a breakup or an argument or there's healing from that so that's not that's not going to be the status quo between you and another person um person place or thing romantic friendship whichever there, there's definitely going to be a, a a new blessing coming in with that and a healing right now it's not the right time to force that just let it go just let let the spirit take care of that for you i've never had my cards fly so much there you go let go make room for the new beginning on its way to you now so letting go is really important virgo at this time and i see you doing that so that's good one more one more one more for virgo Come on you guys one more who wants another card one more okay they gave you two all right and just well one other message here there we go there's an air sign coming in with a confession they have something to tell you gemini libra aquarius they have something to tell you they're going to confess something to you what the heck's that going to be what is this what is this air sign confessing to leave to I almost said Libra. What is this air sign confessing to Virgo? Oh. Well, for some of you, an air sign is going to tell you they broke something off with another person. Okay. Or or um confess about someone that was very abusive. Oh yeah, there's a freeing energy from um a very destructive relationship so when i say air sign gemini libra aquarius could be the sun moon rising or venus keep that in mind if you don't know um hmm so i'm looking at these two cards here i have ov like it's over so i feel like somebody's going to tell you that something is over with an air sign okay so i don't know if you will know what that means you might we'll have to see okay let's take a look i want to see what your chinese sign is virgo who we're talking about here give virgo their chinese sign oh a whole bunch of cards so you've got a year of the tiger you could be a year of the monkey you could yep here's tiger again you could be year of the goat this could be you year of the rooster or it could be another person year of the snake year of the dragon year of the goat again year of the pig and year of the rabbit did i say rabbit I didn't okay you are another person could be you're the rabbit all right let's take a look here get some scrabbles all right hmm something significant happened on um february 17th very significant happened and that was uh last saturday 
something significant. If something significant, like it was like, I'm not saying like you, you, you know, you bought tires for your car. I'm talking about something major and pivotal happened on February 17th. Leave a comment below if that resonates, if something happened or in the chat. All right, you've got the letter P, the letter A, something about someone, someone pappy or pa or grandpa or somebody's dad. Somebody's getting a pap smear. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, they're just saying, make sh download that app, Virgo, that app that you've been wanting to download. Download the app. I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, they're giving me St. Patrick's Day as well. February 17th through March 17th, very significant time period for you in regards to this reading for love, definitely. Um, someone is 34. Okay, and then also the initial, like I said, a P and an A. Okay, yeah, there's Pappy. Um, the initial E, we have I. Someone is born in 1966 or is 66. Okay, someone is 50. August 31st, 1988 is significant year of, year of birth. So I was born in um, 1988. Okay, September 3rd, the letter A yet again. Papa, I keep hearing Papa. Papa don't preach, I'm in double deep. Uh, September 20th, 1977. Also, they just said, okay, it's either LL Cool J LL Cool J. <laughs> okay, I'm not. I'm not singing the song. I'm just not gonna sing the song. <laughs> anyway, um, L. Uh, you might be starting a, a business, an LL, getting an LLC, going like to an LLC. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, uh, they just said to me Xbox, and we have a K, letter K, the letter B. Are you baking cookies? Are you going to bake something? Are you baking something right now? August 23rd, we have uh, the letter N. Napa Valley, I just heard. I heard Kia. Um, September 7th. Um, bank. They just told me bank. A, a nap somebody's taking an, gonna take a nap or just woke up from a nap I just they keep giving me Papa what's going on does somebody call, if somebody calls their father or grandfather Papa or pa or poppy or a lover poppy I think that's how they say it pop poppy hey, hey poppy okay um Abe Abe 1983. The letter O. Okay, let's see what the. Got a couple of um. For this reading, of the other person is their zodiac sign. <clears throat> Excuse me, Leo, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Virgo, Libra, Aries. Okay, one more. Virgo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Pisces. Okay, significant. And some charms for Virgo. All right, we got a pair of scissors for you, Virgo. We also have a dinosaur, Brontothaurus. Okay, also have um, some tennis rackets. You also have a saw, a saw. Some of you need, if you're a hairdresser, you need to sharpen your blade, your blades. I'm just hearing. Um, and a seahorse. Okay, I gave you a bunch. So, um, tennis rackets. Somebody might be playing tennis or is a tennis player or likes to play tennis or watch tennis or maybe just going to go out and, you know, hit the ball. Um, also, you could be a hairdresser or, or thinking of becoming one or getting your hair cut or doing something with a pair of scissors at this time. Um, and so, of course, whenever I see the dinosaur, I always think of the dino nuggies. <laughs> Because that's all we talk about in the chat. That's all you guys talk about. Um, and food, of course. Brontosaurus burger. Yo. 
So, uh, I don't know, something, uh, you could be doing something with a dinosaur. <laughs> I don't know. Like maybe visiting one of those little dinosaur zoos or, you know, uh, with a child. Um, or maybe you've already did that. Dinosaurs are specific. They're, 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 there's something in your life about that are important, significant about dinosaur, about dinosaur, dinosaurs. Okay, and so a saw, you're definitely working on something. Maybe you're crafting or you use the tool, the saw, or you're, uh, you could be using one right now or you just did. There's something here about cutting something off and or cutting something in half as well. And then you have a seahorse. So maybe you are, you know, you love seahorses or you have like an affinity to seahorses. Um, and I'm also hearing something about transition. Um it could be somebody who is there's a preg a male pregnancy i just heard um not going at any i just heard male pregnancy that's what all i heard or somebody's having a boy as well could be yeah so virgo cute little message here i hope you like the celtic cross once in a while i try to push that out there so yeah i'm gonna leave it there don't forget if you want to get a personal reading there's a link below you can also get a text message reading with me you just ask five questions and then i reply with your five tarot reading answers very simple and uh, if you don't have time for phone calls that option is available as well but if you want to do a phone call you can book that too and uh yeah thank you for becoming a member of my channel thanks for the super chats thanks to all the mods they are super super awesome we'll give a thumbs up to the mods who are here every day thank you for staying on topic with the reading because i know sometimes in the chat it just goes crazy but yeah so um love you guys have a great night and i will see you all back here tomorrow all right take care hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.